Hey guys, welcome to Sam Cole Workshop. Today we're going to be talking about these guys right here. Amazing stuff, okay? Half of this boat is built with these things. I first learned about this on a kayak, which I'll show you here in a minute, but this stuff is incredible stuff. Two-way tape, 30 pound per uh, square inch of this stuff. It's just incredible. It's waterproof. This stuff works amazing. Basically, this boat is built this way, but we are going to show you real quick how this is, how to do this, and then I will show you what I've done with it. So, uh, first of all, we're doing here is uh, taking a little rubbing alcohol just to uh, wipe down some of the surfaces. This is a switch panel I just made that I'm going to use this on. Again, there's no reason to drill holes. This stuff is incredible. And I'm wiping off the mounting surface of that. I'm going to come over here where I'm going to mount it. You can shoot right across here, which is going to go right there like that. And you can see it here. And I'm going to clean this off under there where that's going to stick. So now that we got that all cleaned off good with alcohol, we're going to come back over here to our cooler, which is kind of using it as a cutting board here. And we are going to take our tape. This is the 30 pound stuff. I like it best. I bought this once last year because they didn't have any of the other stuff and I still didn't use it. Uh, but this stuff, I've been through about a dozen rolls of this on different projects. I love it. It's incredible. And I'll put a link to it below. But here what we're going to do is we are going to line this. So we're going to put this right on here. We want it perfectly straight across this. Like so. So we got one piece on there. We're going to cut this off and we're going to put another piece on that other spot. There's one. We're going to then just put another one on the top and then we're going to trim it. Like that. Cut that off. You're basically just tracing with this stuff is what you're doing. Like I said, super, super sticky stuff. It's amazing. All right, so now we got it on there. You can see we got this access. We're going to just trim this off of here. Like that. Like that. Oh, I missed that side there a little bit. There we go. So now, this edge. and we have that trimmed. Okay, that's it on there right there. Now what we're going to do is peel this backing off and then stick it on there. So you got to. This takes a second if you don't have fingernails. It's like anything else, kind of pain in the butt. But once you get that backing off, like that, oh, we got a couple air bubbles in there. We're going to just pop those so that when I put it on there, they're going to squish flat. Like so. And then we're going to take this piece off here. Then we're just going to stick this on there. So you can shoot right across here if you want. We're going to take this, set it exactly where I want it. And we're just going to stick that on there, like so. And then that will stay. Now I'm probably going to clamp that or I'm just going to stand here and hold this for about 60 seconds. Um, I'll actually take you out of this. I'll cut it out and I'll bring you back in a minute. Just leave it run. That's fine. Just let it go. All right, we're just going to call it. Is this still playing? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and hit it. All right, so there it is. That is on there. Look at that. Okay, that is rock solid and not moving at all. That is staying right there. And I will have my switches mounted in there to run all my accessories on this. But I didn't have to drill and bolt things through here. No excessive holes. I'm going to take the camera from Tina. I'm going to show you some of the other things we've used this on so that it makes sense for you. Thank you for running that, T. Mm -hmm. All right, so if we come over here, let's start with this because this is one of the first places I used this stuff. And it was amazing. But this keel guard that is on this kayak over here. Okay, this is a junk gator one that I put on here. But you see this big piece of PVC keel guard that I made? 
right here, this, okay, this whole assembly, that is held on with that tape on there. And it is so rock solid. It does not move, will not come off. You could heat it to take it off, but I mean, it's just, it's been on there. Look at all the drag marks on it. I mean, this thing has been used like crazy and it has stayed on there perfectly. Um, and since then, and seeing how good it was, I've used it in many other places. And on this boat, I'm using it tremendously because I just don't want to have to keep punching holes in things. The reason I don't want to punch holes is stuff breaks and things don't work and you got to change stuff out and then uh, you put something on and it's just a pain in the butt to have to keep messing with stuff like that and I'd rather not. So um, in this boat we have that switch panel now held on with that not going anywhere rock solid that will stay right there for basically for life. My gas tank, I have it on the feet. There's little pads under this gas tank, four corners. I have pads under that. Is, look, I'm shaking the whole boat. Okay. That is all mounted or that uh, two way tape is holding this gas tank down. I won't ever take this out. I will just fill it right at the pump like I always have. Like I said, I've owned this is my fifth John boat. I don't take the gas tank out. Now I could, I could wrench on this hard enough to pull it out. But look, see, I mean, I'm shaking the whole boat. Okay. It's not going anywhere. Dropping all my stuff, spilling my fluids. I guess I shouldn't have shook that quite so hard. There we go. But anyway, point being, that is not going anywhere, and that is set right there. So that is locked in with those. Uh, these, my bow hooks right here, okay? This is what I'm going to hang my bow on. These racks, they are held on underneath here with that double-sided tape. So we use that for everything. When I put my bow light on, rather than having to drill one hole here for wires and then drill three mounting holes to mount that light on and then if it breaks and i buy another one they got different mounting hole pattern uh-uh i'm drilling one hole to run the wires through and i'm using that tape to mount that light on the front of this so uh like i said that stuff is amazing this tape is incredible and uh it works for everything you want to do i recommend a 30 pound myself like i said i think it's better um this not bad like I said, this is the second roll of this stuff. I bought it because it was nothing else there, but I haven't even tapped into the second one yet. This, I've been through quite a few rolls of this. Just amazing, amazing stuff, and it just holds so well. Like I said, the majority of the things on this boat are put together with that. As a matter of fact, so is my bilge pump. Okay, down here, this bilge pump that you see down here, and that's the reason I wanted to lock the gas tank so it didn't hurt these wires. It stayed there, but that bilge pump is mounted right down there, is mounted with that tape and it's mounted on only that little rib as you can see it doesn't because there's not enough room for it to mount full surface but that's not going anywhere that'll stay right there forever that'll stay right there mounted with that um with this double-sided tape so this stuff is incredible i mean straight up incredible and i think if you get it you'll be very happy and uh i will put a link down to it below but thanks for watching all right bye